Hi there, and thanks for joining us. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Seven important rules for choosing a new bowling ball. When choosing a new bowling ball, there are a few main things to consider before you purchase your new ball. Here are just a few simple rules to keep in mind when deciding on getting a new bowling ball. Rule number one, the type of bowler you are. Are you a straighter bowler with fewer revolutions or a cracker bowler with more revolutions? Does your speed and rev rate match? This is an important thing to consider before you buy your next ball. In other words, get the right type of ball for your style. Generally, a straighter bowler will use a smoother, arcing, control ball with a solid type cover stock. Higher rev rate bowlers will usually get the long and strong or a skid flip type bowling ball. Rule number two, the lane conditions you are bowling on. This is an important part of picking out the right ball for your style. In other words are your lane conditions oily, medium, or dry? In addition, the type of oil pattern you're bowling on, in other words, match the type of bowling ball to the lane conditions. Rule number 3. The surface of the bowling lane. You will need to keep in mind the surface of the lane in your next bowling ball purchase, are you bowling on old wood lanes or a synthetic lane surface? Rule number 4. The surface of the bowling ball. This is an important factor because there are so many different types of bowling ball surfaces in today's game. A rule of thumb, a dull surface bowling ball equals smooth and control. A shiny surface bowling ball equals snappy or long and strong, a dull bowling ball will be more consistent and a shiny bowling ball will be more erratic. If your center has dry back ends, a shine pearl ball might work well. A little too much carry down and the smooth duller surface may work better. Rule number 5. The core design of the bowling ball. This is important in today's bowling balls, there are three main types, a three-piece, two-piece symmetrical, and advanced asymmetrical core designs. As a rule, the three-piece bowling balls are a lot cheaper and are good for a beginner bowler most of the time, the two-piece symmetrical balls are usually more center-heavy, and have a smoother reaction, the asymmetrical bowling balls can be fine-tuned to match your rev rate and your speed. Rule number 6. Get the right weight. Make sure you choose the right weight bowling ball. Now younger bowlers less than 15 years of age need to follow this general rule, age equals the ball weight, as an example an 8-year-old uses an 8-pound bowling ball, a 10-year-old a 10-pound bowling ball, and so on until age 15. Now everyone else gets the heaviest ball they can handle with comfort. Rule number 7. Type of cover stock. In today's game, there are many cover stocks to choose from. From plastic to reactive resin. We do not endorse plastic bowling balls unless you are bowling on very dry lanes. However, we do recommend you at least use a urethane cover stock even at the beginner level. The three main cover stocks are plastic, reactive resin, and urethane. In addition, there are so many variables in types from pearl to solid reactive and a mix of both, called a hybrid. Typically, a solid cover stock equals early and smooth and the pearl types have a later reaction. Thank you for watching. Please click the link on this page to learn more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Simply click the link on this page to learn more.